Coming up today, will the People Mover in Disneyland ever be operational again? We have uh, some news and rumors to discuss, and we might take a little trip around the Polynesian and dive into some history there. That's coming up today on Traveling with the Mouse. Welcome, everyone, to episode number 357 of Traveling with the Mouse. I'm your host this week. My name is John, and I am joined today by Adam. Ooh, what's up, everybody? And I also have my brother, James. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, everyone. Is that supposed to be a, is that supposed to be a mockery of some kind? No. <laughs> anyway, so how's everybody doing? Good for a Thursday. Good for a Thursday. You're not supposed to say what day it is. Yeah, you're not supposed to give it away. I mean, come on. Good for nobody's, a Saturday. Nobody's going to hear this on Thursday. Guess what day yeah. it is. Um, especially since it's Thursday night. Unless it's next week on a Thursday. Depends. <laughs> it's been a good week. How about that? It has. Oh, good. It has Busy week. Pretty good Busy. Week. Yeah. Yeah. Buzzy. I get I get that. Jason, I don't think, is going to be joining us this week. You know, his his schedule is kind of here and there for the moment. Yeah. But, you know, it was nice to have him on last week. It's been, it had been a while. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll get him again uh, very soon, right? So. Right. We do have travel um, coming up. There's some Disney travel. You have travel. I have travel. I have, have travel. travel. Yes. Everybody's James going has to Disney travel. World soon. All in the month of June, right? Everybody's going to go. Yeah. All in the less than a month now. So, so um, lots yeah. of Disney traveling to come. Yep. Uh, as a matter of fact, our plans, what I think we're going to do is I think we're going to leave a day early. Hey. The reason being to do Peppa Pig World one day. Oh, okay. And then head to Coronado Springs. So that would be something new and different. And, of course, Guardians is new. So. Right. Are you going to try so. to... I'm trying to figure out, because I've never actually done where... You could buy or get a boarding group. So I'm like, do do you have one person on a phone try to pull the boarding group, and if they don't get it, you pay try to buy it. I say well, just buy at it at the same time, or just I, buy I, it I, and get it over. Who am I gonna get on the other phone to to do this? The <laughs> okay, well, in my <laughs> my wife is good at pulling boarding groups. Is she? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, she's gotten the last I've, few. Yeah. Lynn could probably do it. I mean, I just we just haven't gone over it or tried to practice it. Right. Maybe we should whenever. Do you it's have done. time we'll to train? Yeah, we yeah. have time. Yeah, because we got what from the time Guardians oh, actually goes live, we have like a week, right? So I'm saying our only option is going to be to get the uh, virtual queue because we're not staying on property. So, right. so we booked a pre-cruise night just for the purpose of that <laughs> being able to try to do, do try Guardians. both. Yeah, so we could do both. We could yeah. pull or pet buy. Well, I actually have another first reserved, um, one that we've talked about and never actually done, and I've held on to it so far, so hopefully I will. That being the Plaza Restaurant. Ooh, I don't think yes. anyone's done it. So. We have been one, I've been back and forth on that one for a long time, never actually done it. Yeah, so have I. Hopefully Are you going to get good. the Monte Crisco? Yeah. Uh, that looks like diabetes on a plate, so <laughs> I'm probably... I'm probably yeah. going to stay away from that. When in Rome. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be going for that one. We'll see. I mean, okay. it's like a donut sandwich or whatever it is with... That sounds awesome I mean, to me. Yeah. you got to try it. Maybe if I split it, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Maybe we'll do that. YOLO. I just, I mean, I, I try to pay somewhat attention to those things. Some of those things I look at and I'm like, God, that's a heart attack on a plate. I mean, <laughs> But just, you're at it's, Disney. like It's pretty bad. <laughs> Almost when you're on everything. vacation, you eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, but I mean, still, something like that. I mean, What's good that, lord, uh, the old Jim Gaffigan thing about you should probably eat something, and then <laughs> then we'll go eat. Yeah, probably got a snack bar there, right? Who goes to Casey's and eats a vegetarian dog? John. <laughs> it's actually really good. I mean, it really is. Right. It is. Uh, so. Although the corn dog nuggets are really good too. I don't know if you guys have had those. Yeah, yeah the corn dog nuggets. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we try they're them. pretty good. Yeah. The nuggets? Yeah, yeah. I think Decent. they're good. But anyway, like I said, I'm holding on to that one so far, so, you know, maybe it'll actually happen this time. Yeah. I do have a Toledo's as well. Has anyone ate it, eaten a Toledo's? Yeah, 
at the Coronado. I don't even know where that is. Oh. Yeah, at Coronado at the top of across uh, from Dahlia Lounge. Yeah. 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 I've the eaten, more famous, I, the more famous <laughs> Dahlia Lounge. I ate there once, and I actually had one this last time, but I changed it. Was how did you like it the first time? It was good. It wasn't like outstanding, but it was good. See, since I have it for the day that we get there, I'm kind of considering like not doing it and just like eating at the pool bar or something. Three bridges. Or three bridges to go or something like that. Or just go to Donut you know, Lounge. They have good enough food. They, I still like they have some decent appetizers. The, uh, better than um, that other one that's in the lobby. I yeah. I the name of it now. Yeah, just hang out at Donut Lounge. Yeah. And you have your very first cruise is what that your is trip true. is. That's coming yep. up. Yep. Very first. So, very first cruise of any kind. Yes. I've not, not just, uh, not just first I've, Disney cruise. I've not been out at sea, so I need to see if my sea legs are worthy of going out to sea. And tell the captain we want to put to sea. See? <laughs> You'll enjoy it. Quite see, and James sea. hasn't done Disney cruise, but he has done a cruise. Right. Yeah, you guys have done cruises before Disney. Yeah. Well, Those just are, the one. So maybe next week. You guys can prep me well, for the cruise. I'm, Jason is probably going to know more about that. What you're going to go through now than than that, because all of mine yeah. was pre-COVID. So, right, yeah, he's done two since. No, he's done one since COVID, but one right before COVID too. Yeah, right. So yeah, all right. Which ship are y'all on, Adam? The Dream. The Dream. You staying in the, the Roy O. Disney suite? Right. The Dream yeah, exactly. is the only one. That does three night cruises, which is what y'all are doing, right? Or are you doing yeah. a four? No, this is a three. Three. It's three, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to dip my toe in the water, so to speak. Yeah, my very first Disney one was Seven Nights Eastern Caribbean. That's Ooh, the way to yeah, go. It's going in the deep end. <laughs> no, but that's the way to go. I mean, I'm telling you, that's the most relaxing one there is, is the Eastern Caribbean. Right. This will be over before I even start. Probably. So. <laughs> Western, the Western cruise, Caribbean nothing. is a little more adventurous, I guess. Yeah, I expect this one to be very short and very like, oh, well, that was fun. And yeah. the next one I do will probably be a lot longer. But It'll be just enough to hook you to pick another one. That's probably, I mean, that's the point. That's kind of how it goes. I mean, right. they even told you that on the phone, right? Yes, the that's lady. And that's what you guys have told me, too. But that's yeah. what the lady, the lady was that's, like, oh, you're going to do another one. That's what it did to me. I mean, you know, Lynn and I went and were like... We ended up doing one for the honeymoon, and then we ended up doing one the next year, and then it was three yeah. years later before we did another one. But I think it depends on how much both if both of my kids love the kids club, then I'd be like, uh, yeah, this is totally worth it. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> they'll hang out there all day. Be fun. Uh, fun for them. Yeah, see, well, of course, uh, the age is ours. Well, Libby's never been on it, but the age Maddie was whenever we went there. Yeah, we just kind of explored it whenever it was open house for it. We never did like, she never did stay there because she wasn't even two yet. So, Oh, yeah. All right. So, yeah, we got that coming up. Yep. James, yours is kind of mixing where you're going, so right? Makes, yeah. We're we're staying at the same place, but we're mixing. We're doing like three days of Disney and a SeaWorld and a pool day. Yeah. Oh. And SeaWorld is one that, you know, we went there, what, in 19 in May. We just went for the Sesame Street pretty much place. Mm-hmm. I, I really wish, because they got some of the best coasters, truthfully, at SeaWorld. I really wish I would have done, been able to do Mako that time, but maybe I'll get over there again soon. What's your draw to uh, SeaWorld, James? Anything in particular you're wanting to do? or Something Russell Russell can do the Sesame Street. Oh, the Sesame, okay. That's well, I, mean, Emline, I don't think Emline's ever actually ridden a really, really intense outdoor roller coaster yet. They've got a couple at SeaWorld. <laughs> yeah, they do. they got plenty. I mean, you know, rock and roller coaster is pretty intense, but she she really can't see what she's doing. Right. So yeah, this but, is like yeah, outside, out and back coasters. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Of the ones I did, uh, like when we went to Sea World, there was only the two roller coasters really, unless you count Atlantis. As what was the one we rode that time? I forgot. What was it called? Well, we did. Well, we did Manta. Yeah, Manta. That's right. And and then we did Kraken. Yeah, Kraken. Yeah, we did those two. And then they didn't have Mako yet, but Mako, I can just tell by looking at it, it would be, I would love that because that's I the loved, one that just come out this year, right? No, it was last year or year before. I forgot what it was. It was I think it was pre COVID, but this year there's one that just came out yeah. called Icebreaker. Yeah, Icebreaker. That's right. Yeah, so they have four coasters now. Yeah, okay. Icebreaker looks fun too, but Mako is the one that I it my style of coaster. I love the airtime stuff, so I like the ones that are tall with the drops with the big drops. Those are my favorite kind. I'm not really big into loops that much i mean they're all right but you're a drop man 
I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Speed sense. and drops. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right. But yeah, so I mean, that's cool that that's we got that coming up. So. So lots of travel coming up. Yeah, yeah, coming That'll up soon. Be good. After graduations, right? So, um, at the top of the show, I kind of talked a little bit about the people mover out of Disneyland. Yes. I kind of got curious about it here not too long ago, mm-hmm. because, you know, some people would don't even think about the fact that they haven't had one in like twenty five years almost now. Yeah, or coming up on it. Well, I mean, rocket rides didn't last very long. I mean, yeah, I don't what was it from like ninety eight to two thousand or something like that? I don't even know if it was that long, but yeah. any well, either it broke way, down it was, all the time too. Yeah, yeah, well, it had its issues. Definitely one of Michael Eisner's worst ideas. <laughs> yeah, for sure, was trying to turn that into a thrill ride. I don't know where what was. I don't even know what the discussion was like to say we need to change the a classic attraction <laughs> like the People Mover mm. into a thrill ride or attempt to do something somewhat thrilling. More thrill. It was probably Eisner's uh, son again. The same. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who basically greenlit Star Tours and several right. other attractions. Okay, so the thing about this one, right? One thing that was a problem mm-hmm. was that the people mover out in Disneyland didn't move on the... They don't move on the electronic motors or like the, sim, the same way that um, Disney World does, right? If mm-hmm. you noticed... They had the little tires, didn't they, moving? Yes, they had like yeah. the separate... yeah. So it was it was driven differently. I can't remember exactly what they called it, but another thing that was neat about that system is you had elevation changes mm. on the people mover, right? Whereas the one in Florida is pretty flat. Yeah. Same same height all the way through. Mm. And it's part of the design, right? Part of the, the how it's move, how it moves. So and of course yeah. the ones in California they didn't have covers over them the entire time, which is probably because they didn't necessarily have to. You don't get necessarily get the same heat in Southern California as you do in Central Florida. So I'm sure that was part of it. Even though it did have the individual hoods over them. Right. Or rain. Um, <laughs> the amount of rain. Yeah, I don't really have to worry about rain too much. Yeah. But yeah, the elevation changes and being able to kind of wind through over there where the Autopia is and was well i mean it's still there it is and uh, you know that area i mean that that part right there uh, just in itself makes that one to me look better overall experience than say walt disney world even though i've obviously never experienced it but just from what i've yeah. been able to see before they ruined it but <laughs> before they ruined i was it. saying all this yeah i was saying all this to get to the point of mm-hmm. disney believe it or not is said to actually want to bring that people mover back. Mm -hmm. But here's where the issue lies. And this kind of gets into what I was saying about what happens with other attractions sometimes. There's a couple of problems, all right? So Rocket Rides, unfortunately, stressed the track. Structural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the structure. So it's not, it's got some cracks there that they would have to repair. Another issue Disney's going to have now is coding or codes changed in that time period so if they ever make people mover active again they're actually going to have to expand the track because it has to have certain safety features as far as walkways right the walkways need to be a little wider it needs to be safer for like fire codes and such they've right. been updated in that time period so sure. that's another thing so it's not just as simple as just bringing the cars back on the track and let's just do it right yeah. they have to repair the track they have to widen the track, which is going to, especially those enclosed ones they go to, right? So they're actually going to have to affect the building. Right. So the buildings are going to have to have some work done on them. So it, part of it's cost, I'm sure, but not. it's right. not so much. I mean, it's that, plus you'd have to put other attractions down for a significant amount of time in order to get this accomplished, mm-hmm. since it goes inside those attractions or by them. And that would cause an issue. Just so people may know if they're interested in this coming back they have it kind of in the back of their minds but it sounds seems to me like they're waiting on another big overhaul of tomorrowland is what i'm gathering Mm -hmm, probably so the next time that they have the budget and everything together for an overhaul of tomorrowland you're probably going to see the people mover come back it makes sense some of the stuff that i heard when they were talking about this if you think about it we say well why they change an attraction or something like that well, most of the time, 
what has happened is enough time has passed and they're faced with a decision of, are we going to put in a lot of money to fix this or, you know, for the future? Or are we going to go in a different direction? You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's kind of what, what they face a lot of times when they, when they do make a change to an attraction. It's not always just that they want to replace it. It's, you know, we're kind of faced with, it's a money, it's a, all right, things are wearing out. Are we going to spend a ton of money to fix it. just fix it, or are we going to go in another direction, right? That's kind of what happens with it. So you have attractions like, take Splash Mountain, for instance. They already had a plan, right? They didn't necessarily plan on doing this until, but they spent very minimal, you know, very minimal amount on the refurb right here recently for that reason, right? Right. But you can kind of see it with some attractions now that you think they're on their last legs because... They don't really want to put a lot of money into fixing <laughs> what, what's yeah. broken with it. So know? what are they doing with pirates out there? Why is it down so long? Are you talking about in Disneyland? Yeah. I haven't heard anything specific on that, truthfully. I'll say pirates has been that, down for a month or so or longer. It's definitely not going away. That's one thing you yeah, can guarantee no, with pirates. But I'm just wondering what they were doing. Unless they just hadn't shut it down in a while and they're doing like a pretty big overhaul. I, I think they probably were having to do spruce it up, so to speak. More so than they did during COVID. Right. How much sprucing did they actually do during COVID? But looking at Disneyland's satellite from Google Earth or whatever, the yeah. track is all there. It's just, it's really sad that it's just been sitting there for 25 years without anything. I mean, you, right. you can only imagine how bad the bad of shape it's in if they haven't touched it that it long. It would take lots of money to yeah. fix that ride. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a fan favorite you know crowd favorite yeah. ride especially in disney world everybody loves it's it. gotta be in horrible shape though it is terrible shape you know what it is like john said to get it up to code they would have to make all kinds of a plans huge I mean, investment what is uh how many different attractions does it go through <laughs> well it goes through autopia a lot okay. out there and so that's probably a big area and then of course it goes through their space mountain so it's yeah i'm gonna say somewhat the, similar the very to first yeah, the, the very first building it goes into is it runs runs right alongside uh, Star Tours, yeah. okay. which took the place of I want to say it was Adventures Through Inner Space was there before Star Tours. There might have been something else in that building before then. Yeah, which, I mean, surely they'll come <clears throat> back with another people mover ride. I mean, the people mover in Disney World shut down, and some people stood in line for eight hours. Yeah, who would do that? Oh, wait. <clears throat> yeah, I forgot about that. Well, at least they didn't try to ruin it by putting an attraction that didn't belong there. And so, we, I mean, that would have been a nightmare for Disney World. So, yeah. That, oh, yeah. Disney World wasn't going to do it. That wouldn't yeah. have. Well, they, thankfully, they learned the lesson here at Disneyland first. So. Yeah. And now. I just really hate that I haven't gotten to experience the Disneyland people mover, though. Do you know what I mean? I really want to do that. So I really hope they can do that sometime in the near future. Well, their Tomorrowland is pretty sad compared to Disney World's. Well, after they ruined it, yeah. yeah that's what I'm talking <laughs> about. I'm talking about current, current, current. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's yeah. pretty bad. Their Space Mountain is better. Their Space Mountain is better, but the Autopia is tr- way better. Yeah, but he's. I think James is talking more like the layout's more of a mess. Yeah. Well, oh gosh, with Astro Orbiter right at yeah. the entrance is awful. That's uh, one. Of, that's like a bigger sin than Aladdin in the middle of Adventureland. Well, I was gonna say one of the things that was neat to me about the Tomorrowland over there was you know how like in the old the Disney, I guess, films and stuff from like the '60s that were on mm-hmm. the TV specials. Mm-hmm. Um, how that stage that comes up out of the ground. Oh yeah, right. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I got to see that. And I don't know. I can't remember who was performing or what was happening with it, but I got to see that and go down. I was just like, "Oh, that's cool." You know, to me, because I actually got to see something I recognized from way back then, right. taking place. That stage that comes up out of the ground and goes back down on the ground, and it looks like a which what the, is it like a yeah blends in with the scenery on top or whatever. And the one at Cosmic Rays in Magic Kingdom goes down, but does it does it still do that today? Like with Good question. Sunny would, Eclipse. Because Sunny never, it's always there pretty much, isn't he? Right. It seems Does like. Does he ever go down into the floor? Because <laughs> I see old videos of that stage going down. It's kind of neat. Yeah. Too, but. 
again, it's one of those things where it's open air and outdoors in California, but in Florida, yeah, they were is. thinking, how many people are really going to sit outside here with no shade yeah. <laughs> for a lengthy, for any period of time? Right. The thing that always gets me about Magic Kingdom is the teacups, how it took them like three years to put a cover over the roof, like a roof over it, because like, how long, how many times did it oh, rain yeah. before oh, they're like, gotta okay, shut maybe. it down, it's raining. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Or did they teacups or, actually get filled with water? <laughs> or or how much skin cancer did there have to be before uh, <laughs> they put a roof over it? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Just one of those uh, funny things. Yeah. Which, by the way, it's out in Disneyland. When you mentioned teacups, the, the natural, I guess, it's almost like a natural shade they did there they didn't really build a building over it but they just started like grew trees or whatever it was or whatever you would call that vines or something kind of over theirs oh right at disneyland yeah yeah it's like it they just grew cooler, natural yeah. shade it does look cooler so yeah because it yeah, used to be right. you look back at the old photos and videos and it's like wide open gosh think talking about old videos i know we keep going back and forth on <laughs> topics here but the like Main Street at Magic Kingdom used to have so many trees, and now there's like nothing. It's just right. kind of funny. But anyway, yeah. Okay, let's try and blow through uh, some news <sighs> right quick. Okay. Let's blow through. Yeah, it. just blow through it. <sighs> so you know, probably a real simple one, and this is kind of a natural occurrence if you want to think about it. Enchanted show times are moving up about twenty minutes, obviously because of daylight. We're coming close to the mm, so longest day of the year where it is approaching. So it's basically just moving from 9 to 9.20. So it needs to actually be dark by the time they start. Yeah, Yeah, that's the idea. One of the last remaining pieces of the legacy signage has been removed from Epcot. And interestingly enough on this one, I know this is kind of a a big one, but this is what DeSantis has stated. This was three days ago. Says that the state will likely take control of Disney's Reedy Creek Improvement District. That's according to him. He said, the path forward is Disney will not control its own government in the state of Florida. Disney will have to follow the same laws that every other company has to follow in the state of Florida. They will pay their share of taxes and they will be responsible for paying the debts. Despite his comments, he has still not laid out a clear plan to dissolve Reedy Creek. He said that his plan will be presented to the legislator after the November 2022 elections, which leaves very little time before the June 1st, 2023 termination date. So... Is his seat up this year? I don't yeah. even know. It is? I believe okay. it is, yeah. Okay. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Um, if you look at polls, I mean, there's a lot of people who obviously still like Disney that kind of don't necessarily side with this situation, but still side with DeSantis as a whole. So it's okay. it would be interesting. Let's put it that way. Okay, so what do y'all think about it? I still don't think it's going to happen, but I think he's just talking a lot right now don't think it's a good idea to dissolve to dissolve it as far as what will happen i mean anything could happen i mean do you think disney would just say we're gonna up and move no no that that can't even happen i mean that's they're gonna have to deal with it one way or the other (laughs) right there's no way um, does universal sea world and all them people have to pay taxes on their stuff well yeah because of where they're located they're not in their own like little world so to speak but disney was also there first and they you know it's just the way it all i'm just saying designed yeah i'm i'm not siding with him one way or the other i'm just saying yeah i mean i wonder what they think about it oh they're probably gonna be like they probably like the idea truthfully but i don't know i don't know if they places like universal and sea world and so on and so forth they kind of benefit from disney in a way oh of course they do people come there and do that as well some t- in some cases. I don't know. It's kind of... I think Universal could stand to gain if something like that happened more so than anyone else. But I don't... I mean, we'll see. I don't know. I mean, what do you mean as far as gain? You try to get gaining more people to come to well, the Well, just because they're, because they're going to keep doing their thing, right? But it's not going to affect their bottom line like it would Disney's. So I don't know where he's polling now, but he only won... The governorship by 30,000 votes back in 2018. Right. So it was tight. Well, again, Doesn't again that was a small sample that I was talking about still. Right. But so who knows? Believe it or not, the majority of the state of Florida doesn't really 
I mean, they do, but they don't really have a ton of interest in what Disney does anyway. <laughs> Just saying. Well, I mean, a lot of people that live in Florida kind of probably dread tourist season because of how busy it gets. If they're, if they're native or if they move there, that might be the reason they move there. Yeah. Okay, so let's move along since we spent a little bit extra time on that one. We did. Moving on. Epcot is scheduled to be closing early on June the 5th for a private event. Fortunately, that's not my Epcot day. That's my arrival day. So, nothing, Wait, what day uh, is it? June the 5th. The Sunday, June oh, the 5th. Okay, June 5th. Okay. Yeah. We're Sunday still at C that day. Okay. Yes. I think we're going on the 12th, which is that Sunday. I know we talked, so we're going to talk about the Polynesian a little bit. Mm-hmm. But there have been demolition <laughs> crews on site. Yes. At the Polynesian Village Resort to clear land for the new Disney Vacation Club Tower. So this is moving forward. Spirit of Aloha. Um, the old stuff. On. Did you guys ever do that? I feel like... Did we yeah. do it as long time ago? I may... I did a long, I've, I've done it a long time ago. We did it... Yeah. Didn't we do it, John, when I graduated? Uh, we did it in 2000. We did it the next yeah. year. Oh, okay. The next year. I knew we had done yeah. it one time. Yeah. And honestly, I mean... <laughs> I can't remember. I don't remember a ton about it, except for the fact that the food was just okay. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, the food was pretty good. Uh, The show, I think one thing that's pretty neat about that show is, I mean, if you've seen it, you've seen it pretty much. But if, like, that particular day it had rained a little earlier and that stage was slick, and so that uh, gives the performers options. So, like, that guy... um, what I mean by that is that guy, after he did one of his little sticks, he actually like ran and slid all the way off the stage oh, see, or something like that. You know what so I'm saying? He used it to so, his advantage. Right. Yeah. Okay. He made it, he made it more uh, entertaining. Right. Right. Like I, like I say, I'm sure they'd done that plenty of times before, but we just happened to be lucky enough to, on a day that it had rained before the show. So, I mean, people that went back when the Polynesian, you know, back when the seventies, I mean, they would probably be more disappointed than we are. You know what right. I mean? Yeah, because there's so many yeah. more options now. Oh yeah, so many more options to do, and they, and there's a possibility the attendance was lower on it, and that's the reason why they're like, you know what, yeah. we're just gonna do something else. Well, they'll make way more money with the DVC tower than they uh, for the- lots <laughs> more money than Spirit of Aloha tickets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or shows. That's yes. the main reason Most why definitely. they're doing it. Yeah. Most definitely, but of course you got to so, spend a lot to make a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Distribution times have been announced for Guardian of the Galaxy, and there's no real surprises here. Yeah. Starting on May the 27th, 7 a.m. is when it opens, and of course you get it, an opportunity again at 1 p.m. And you 6. Is that yeah. what I'm And we actually can get in the virtual queue off-site at 7. You will not need to be in the park to join at, uh, uh, at no, 7. Okay. Uh, we don't even have to be at a Disney hotel. As right. long as you have a As, um, yeah. park pass. A valid park ticket, park. yeah. Yep. Yeah, pass, yep. yeah. Which we do for that Sunday. So, but I told Jen, I was like, you know what? You don't get it at seven. You're on it again at one. So, right. We'll we'll be there. And I've had like I had a lot of good luck with the one p.m. Rise of the Resistance uh, drop. So, so one thing that's a little different this time around is Cosmic Rewind will make use of the virtual queue even in the extended evening hours for those that are at deluxe resorts. Mm-hmm. They open that queue at six p.m. Sure. So that's like another. It's an added time. Oh, really? Yeah, so if you're staying at a deluxe resort, you know how you get the extended evening hour. So on days when they have that, they're going to open the queue up again at 6 p.m. Interesting. I did not know that. Okay. Yep. Wow. How long that's going to go on, I don't know. Yeah. Let me ask y'all a question. Have y'all ever rode a ride getting in a virtual queue? Because we never have. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. Okay, uh, well, how long did you actually two, have yeah. to wait? Oh, well, for rides, they still they didn't have a standby, which I guess they're not having for this either, but... They didn't have the lightning lane for most of the time either, so it was a very short wait. We waited okay. less than. I'm just curious because I mean I I know there's probably a lot of people that get you know shoveled in there at a certain times because they're gonna try to shovel as many people as they can. Yeah, I'm just I curious if you know. Hey, I got a virtual queue, but I still had to wait 40 minutes. You see what right. I'm saying? I imagine they'll skew heavy to the paid <laughs> slots. That's like, I mean I've noticed that just when we went because you know because we don't go a ton, so we bought a bunch of lightning lanes. And yes, they benefit to the light and lane people a lot more. Yeah. It kind of depends if you arrive at a time, you know, yeah. because you have a window. Right. If you arrive at a time when a lot of other people are, obviously your wait's going to be a little longer. Right. Uh, the time we did Ratatouille, 
Yeah. So, well, it only been open a few days, I think, at the time we did it. Right. And it took roughly 30 minutes, even with a virtual queue. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I was just curious, because we've never actually done it. This is going to be our first uh, stab at doing... Virtual queue. Virtual queue. Yeah, because, you yeah. know, we just, like I said, we went ahead and just bought Rise last time just to make sure we wrote it. We bought yeah. Ratatouille, and we have never actually done it, so... But Jenna's all about. Yeah, I promise you, she'll be on there. <laughs> yes, I, I, <laughs> be I feel confident she'll get it. But I think, yeah, probably thirty minutes is what I'm guessing because of oh, the shoot, that's great. Lane. Because we're going to have to do the rider swap, right? Yeah, because with Russell, little because, Russ, yeah, 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 we would have to as well. Yeah, because what is the highest, John? It's forty-two. Oh, okay. Yeah, my yeah. son is forty-four, so I'm good. My youngest, so we're in the clear. Is Maddie forty four? Forty two? Oh Maddie's uh, yeah, Maddie's forty eight. Okay. I mean Maddie oh, okay. Maddie could probably I mean We are Maddie in the could clear. probably do Maddie could probably do rock and roller coaster <laughs> if she wanted to. Or is or is that one or is that one even higher than I think? Is it isn't is it rock and roller coaster forty eight? I think it's forty eight. Anyway, yeah. I think it's forty eight. I think that's the tallest. It used to be a different ride, remember what was the highest height requirement? One of them was used to be the one that they just knocked down in Animal Kingdom. Yeah, exactly. Primeval World. I remember when was we it took that line. The first time we took him line, she was six. There was two rides she couldn't ride: Rock and Roller Coaster and Primeval World. Yeah, that was the two she couldn't ride. Well, one of those she didn't really miss anything. Right. All she missed was um, a trip to the chiropractor, even at even at her age. Um, anyway, I think I only rode it once. <laughs> Mate, we're we're hoping Russ can get on Alien Furl and Saucer this time. I think it's thirty-two. Yeah. So. See. <laughs> I thought it was kind of odd that Guardians was 42. I don't know how they determine these heights because that was definitely different than what we've seen. Most are in like the 44 or something like that range, you know? Yeah. But yeah, 42 was what they announced. And I was like, okay, this has yeah. something to do with the, the ride vehicle. I mean, obviously. So right. yeah. things that will be reopening. We have the Harmony Barbershop reopening in Ooh. July, as well as the oh. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. So the barbershop will open on July 31st. Ah, uh, boo. Yeah. So not while you're... I know James is look, looking at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so it looks like Russell's not going to get his hair cut for another year. <laughs> <laughs> a, limited, a limited number of reservations for this experience will be bookable in the My Disney Experience app beginning June the 28th. Walk-in appointments will be accepted based on availability, of course. Boy, that took a long time for them to reopen that. But I guess that makes sense. It's a very tiny location, and, you know, obviously it's close quarters, so... Yep. So, not-so-scary Halloween party tickets now on general sale. That just recently happened. I know we had already talked about those. Yeah. Haven't heard of anything selling out yet. Have y'all ever done one of those? Yeah, the Halloween party? Yeah. Yeah. I don't don't think we've ever done one. It used to be totally worth it, I thought, but now the price is getting too high, and during COVID, it was definitely not worth it. It used to be good. It's not so very scary. Mm. It's like, yeah, kid. I used to be. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Another Angels in the Outfield reference, huh? It's like, you used yeah. to be Mel Clark. I used to be. <laughs> Let's see. This one's kind of interesting. Disney is halting advanced purchase of Genie Plus at Walt Disney oh, World. Right. So guests will no longer, they will, Disney will no longer allow guests to purchase Genie Plus in advance starting on June the 8th. Eighth, Genie Plus will only be offered for purchase through the My Disney Experience app on the day of your visit. Interestingly enough, it doesn't give a specific time. I guess any time prior to seven a.m. Right. Because currently you can do it after midnight, right? Right. Or you can just buy it prior to seven a.m. and yeah. no problem. Right. So, I yeah, I've always heard of heard that people when they bought tickets they would buy it, and I was like, oh, I didn't realize you could buy it in advance. I actually. But. I actually kind of like this idea because it's moving towards what we had discussed about kind of like, what was the pass out in California that we thought was a good idea? I can't remember the name of it now. Max Pass? Yes, Max Pass. It's similar to that because that was same day. I guess. All right. Tron's coming along. Nothing really. Train tunnel. I heard somebody the other day said it was going to be summer of 23. What? That's what I heard. I swear. That's, that seems way too far away in my well, opinion. Well, you got to think about it. When's the last time you looked at an actual video of it? They still got a ton of work to do. Because, you know, they're not well, going to open just, it until they finish the train track and everything. True. Ride's well, testing, though. I would maybe. say six months. Might be yeah, ready, I was going to say, because the ride testing, that seems like it should be closer than that. But Disney has been known to push things. 
but it's possible they would wait just because Guardians gets the the yeah, they, attention they, this they year. Yeah, I was gonna say they wanted to get the attention, and then when people start, it's kind of like, I mean, it's gonna be interesting to see like Hollywood Studios once once Guardians and what's the rise wait time is gonna be like. Yeah. Starts dying down to the eventually. Yeah, it's going right. to. It will. Enough people have written it. And of course, if you are interested in booking future trips, we happen to know somebody that can help you with that. Isn't that right, Adam? Yes, Jill Delbeck. It's our travel agent friend to the show. Yes. You and can how can she be reached? Jill Delbeck at gmail.com. Sometimes she has special promotions she can offer too because she's part of a uh, travel agency that they can sometimes offer incentives. So send her an email. See if there's something available. There you go. So the last really like news thing before we can maybe spend a few minutes talking about Polly is former Walt Disney World president George Caligridis. Is am I saying his name right now? Caligridis. I can't remember. Oh, that sounds right. (laughs) To retire Mm. another leadership shuffle at DPEP. So he has been there 50 years. So he's basically been there since the beginning of Walt Disney Company. A lifer. He is a former president of Walt Disney World. Mm. Uh, he's held a number of positions all throughout. He was recently honored with a window on Main Street. So alongside the news of his departure, Disney Parks Experience and Products Chairman Josh Tomorrow has made some mm-hmm. organizational changes to the segment. So um, Thomas Malslum, if I'm saying his last name right, Malslum, role as president. New experiences portfolio and Disney Signature Experiences has been expanded to include the exploration of additional new initiatives beyond the parks. Stephanie Young moves into the role of president of the, let's see, Disney Vacation Club Adventures and Expeditions and Disney Institute reporting to Thomas. And then finally, Tasia, I think, Philippatos, I hope I'm saying that right, will take on the role of president of consumer products, games, and publishing reporting to Josh tomorrow. So, I mean, of course, like any time someone retires, the shuffle happens. Mm-hmm. A lot of those names, you probably didn't know exactly what they were doing. But anytime a long-time cast member retires, I think it's newsworthy, right? Yeah. Especially one that used to be president. Used to be the so, president. You used to be president? <laughs> yeah, I used to be. Yeah, kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Getting a lot of mileage out of that one. You don't want to talk about Bob Iger investing in delivery startup GoPuff? GoPuff? I haven't heard that news. I, I'm going to say I guess I haven't heard about I that. I haven't heard of GoPuff. So he's investing in it, though, but he's not actually going to, like, run it or anything, right? I mean... No, he's just an investor in, an, in a $15 billion company. Well, this is this could or may or may not mean something because, you know, this is a guy who invested in the NBA. So, mm-hmm. at Disney World. So, NBA you know, you know, you never know. If he has a passion for GoPuff. <laughs> was that Bob Iger's uh, people mover to Rocket Rods mistake? Was... <laughs> Disney Quest NBA experience. NBA experience. Yeah. yeah. I like Disney Quest. Pretty much. I know. And it's gone now. It was outdated. Do you know Hooba Stank is going to be at the Eat to the Beat concert series this year? <laughs> the Food Wine Well, Festival? I did say that they were going to have a list, but Hooba Stank, really. Yeah. Didn't know they, they managed to get them. That's one of the new ones. Is... <laughs> yeah. I bet it was hard to get them. Yeah. Hard cost a lot. Most of these, I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. I can see why you're playing Epcot. I mean, you got people on the list like, well, since you brought it up, let's just real quick. Baja Men, which you know who they are. Mm-hmm. Taylor Dane. I've heard of Big see. Bad Voodoo Daddy. Yeah, Big Bad Voodoo Daddy. <laughs> Joey Fatone in Friends. <laughs> yes. Obviously, that means it's not in sync. It's not in sync. <laughs> yeah. Friends who are not in sync. <laughs> Sorry, so friends who are not in sync. <laughs> Joey Fatone I remember BB, BB Mac. Do you remember them? That name sounds familiar. Late, late 90s, they had that song, Until You're Back With Me, Baby, or something like oh, Back no. Again, Baby. I know Whatever. who Southern Avenue is. I actually went and saw them in Atlanta. Did you? David Cook, wasn't he on American Idol? A lot of these are 80s and somewhat 90s folks. Well, so the, what's the name of the one band that always plays at Epcot? Is it the m 80s I don't know, but I feel like Air Supply has been there a pretty good bit. They have. So, Boys yeah. to Men, been there a lot. That's kind of a big name Boys for Disney, Man. actually. I mean, I mean, I know they're from back in the day, but... Hanson? I mean, you know. Hanson? Yeah. <laughs> Billy Ocean? They're going to be rocking yeah, some yeah. oom-bop, huh? He's a regular. Billy Ocean. Caribbean queen. He's a regular. Yeah. 38 special. They're kind of a regular, aren't they? Yeah, I think they are. 
Mark Wills, and he's done several country songs, but I'm trying to remember. And where is this going to be? Epcot. Food and Wine oh, Festival. It's all at the, oh, oh at Food yeah, and Wine? Yeah, the Eat to the Beat concert oh, series, yeah. Oh, food and Wine is the best. Yeah, you know Food and Wine when it starts in July. Yeah, but I know, but I've been to Food and Wine more than any of them. I think Food and Wine is the best. I mean, so far. Because, yeah. hey, I've never been it's, to Flower and Garden. It's the best. And I will be doing Flower and Garden this time. So Flower and Garden is good. There's no difference between them anymore, except they feature flowers. I've done Festival of the Arts. I've done Food and Wine. Now it's time for Flower and Garden. I have. Yeah, that's what I say. Food is just slightly different. Every last one of them feature food and wine now. Yeah, but... Only <laughs> it's food and wine and flowers, or food and wine and art. or <laughs> The food's a little different. But, I mean, the right, Festival well, of the Arts food, to me, yeah, was, it lasts longer. was good. Yeah. Or as they, what is it they refer to it now? Diet Epcot, those small few moments when you have yeah. nothing. Like the week in between festivals when they're setting up for the next one. And there's there's probably still leftover booths even then. Yeah. Oh, but they change it up. Come on, man. It's different food. Yeah. And they're always delayed so, now. Somewhat. Like the Food and Wine Festival is not the full festival until like September. And that's usually when we went. It was in September. Some of the booths have a delayed start. Or I can remember going in September and thinking that the Halloween decorations were out early. You're right. Well, at that point, okay. There was a time. There was a time. Well, they they put Christmas decorations out in November, don't they? It was yesterday yeah, at Magic Kingdom. Well, James, for example, when we went to in September for the first time, it was late September. I know that there was no Halloween decorations of any kind. Well, true. They may not even have had them then. Actually, that was twenty two years ago. It was a long yeah. time ago. So. I wouldn't remember. A Do you remember? Changed. <laughs> no, Mike, no, sorry. Michael Jackson is not at the E to the Beat. That's not Michael Jackson. That's Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, you're yeah. doing a different one? I oh, said, do so you remember? In September. Yeah. September. I thought you were doing, do you remember the time? Oh, no, no, no. The first start. Which is a Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Yes. Song. It is. As a matter of fact, it is. I and hope I get song. Tears for Fears. That's the one Jenna wants. Jenna wants September. That's one of her favorite songs. <laughs> she loves it. And she, she'd go for Tears for Fears, but she loves September. Yeah. That's a good one too. That's yeah. the one. Those are the two, those are the only two I've really seen featured in video so far. Is the everybody wants to rule the world and September. I don't think I've heard any of the other ones in the videos. She told me the other night. She goes, "You know, my luck. I'm gonna get conga." <laughs> <laughs> I will it's laugh if that's like, what yeah, you but guys actually. Get. I mean, but it's no. I it's told okay. her. I said, "You're gonna get conga, and I'm gonna end up getting September when I go back with them on a rider swap." <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You said it now. See, it's going to happen. Here you go. There's here's another one of the similarities when I was talking about between rock and roller coaster. You went to see what one of the things right. you kept repeating it was to see what track you got. Well, I was going to ask you. Uh, do they have the cars marked for what song it is, like rock and or rock and roller coaster? Mm, they question. might. I don't know. Somebody will figure so it out if they do. Some, some, uh, yes, somebody will figure it out because somebody figured it out there. They'll figure it out here. Yeah. Somebody What's your favorite rock and roller coaster track? I, I, I've been on it so many times. I like. I mean, it's. Let me, let me think. I don't know. I've got a bunch of them. You know, the, the one when we first started going on it, we heard the most was the... Love and Looks Like a Lady. Oh, that was just going to say that no. one. Do Looks Like a Lady. Which I forgot now. Which one's mixed with... Do, you know, it's always songs mixed together. Do Looks Like a Lady mixed with what? I forgot what the other song was. Because they started about... Yeah, because Do Looks Like a Lady starts about halfway in between and then it ends. Oh, never mind. You know, they start with Back in the Saddle. You're right. They, back in the Saddle goes into Dude's like a, Dude Looks Like a Lady. Yeah. The only one that is the same track all the way through, and I'm sure this was an Aerosmith's request at the time because it was new at that time, was Nine Li- is Nine Lives. I like that one too, though. That's only... Nine Lives is cool and riding a roller coaster. It is. It is. It's They're good, it was a good pick. Sweet Emotion is probably my favorite one. That's a good one. Yeah. Like I said, I've heard, I've heard them all, I'm sure, as many times yeah. as I've wrote it. So it's hard to pick a favorite. Right. It's probably going to be the same way with Guardians. I mean, Tim yep. Tracker's wife cried when she heard Tears for Fears riding Guardian. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. She sh- she shed tears I mean, for I Tears like for that Fears. Song, yeah. that like, wow. It'll be interesting to see what which one we get. <laughs> Tim gets off the ride and goes, well, I couldn't follow the plot. <laughs> <laughs> I, was just, I was laughing at him. Uh, she's sitting over all emotional he's like well I had a hard time following the plot <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's oh, wow. having a moment here and he's just like yeah whatever you know that's funny he has he was a mansplainer I don't know if he still is but 
So, since we haven't really left ourselves much time, do we want to do the poly thing, or do we want to... We can do a tease of it, sure. Because I don't really know how we would do this. Well, let's just talk about memories of it. I mean, the last trip report, I don't know if, James, if you heard my trip report from April, where I just talked about... I did. Hanging no, out there. It. Yeah. yeah. It was just fun to hang out there and reminisce. Yeah. Bringing back memories. Of course. I mean, I'm sure, yeah. Because, I mean... I mean, how many family vacations did we have there when we were oh, kids? Wow. Tons. We used to steal rocks from there. I probably shouldn't admit that. I still at Mama's house. <laughs> I guarantee you. The one John uh, snitched on me about. I have one. Yeah. yeah. I still have on one. On that video, I was like, James brought a rock. <laughs> <laughs> and I put it out in front of it. And Mama was pretty much, Mama, without saying a word, was like, who cares? They got tons of them. Yeah. Pretty much. Right. And they still have a That's, lot. It, not as and many that many rock is at her house somewhere. It is, yeah. It's still it's a collector's item. I had a right? fine. I have. I had a big. God, one. that thing's twenty some odd years old. Shoot, well, maybe it's closer to 30. thirty. Yeah, more than thirty, probably. <laughs> yeah, because I was a little kid. Yeah. It would actually. It was eighty seven, so, so that would be yeah, thirty five years old. Yes. Yeah. Coming oh, up there's on some it. good memories at the Polynesian. We, I mean, how many times did we abuse Adam in the pool <laughs> at the good at the point. middle? Pool? In the middle, poop. that's on. Yeah. That's on video on too. Video. Actually, okay, so not, not literally. Not yes, literally, so let's say yeah. let's let's clarify that. That's what that's what we refer to it as. Say, let the listeners know that we used to like to watch wrestling, and we did ra- <laughs> we did wrestling. The, yes, that's how you have to say it. Wrestling. wrestling. Yes, like, lots hey, of. Vince, uh, I'm in the wrestling business. So, anybody, Adam was the youngest, and we threw him around, and I enjoyed <laughs> in the pool, <laughs> and he enjoyed it. Yes, and in I the pool. Wanted- to be thrown around, yeah. It was yeah. fun. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like not much random. has changed, folks. He still likes to be thrown around. <laughs> yeah, just in a different anyway, way. It'll be harder now. <laughs> Sorry. It'll yeah. be harder now. So he's about six um, foot two, three, and <laughs> we don't think we could anymore. I'm sure all together we could probably pick him up and lift him over our head. Yeah. <laughs> do we need to do that so you can put it on YouTube? <laughs> oh, hey, that's... that's I was going to say... put I, it on our YouTube channel. Yeah, those videos, uh, as you just mentioned, this actually is on there, because I remember seeing the in the pool, and James comes over and he says, time to abuse. <laughs> Did <laughs> I really? <laughs> yes. Oh, of course. <laughs> okay, if we can Sounds all plan it where Mitch is there, too, then we could do it. That <laughs> 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 would take me out to the pool. All right. Well, the pool's going to look a little different. <laughs> and then all our children <laughs> look at us like, what's wrong with y'all? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they'd be like, the, "What? Why yeah. would you do that?" The pool is now a different shape, uh, and it has a fence. <laughs> that that, that pool different. looks totally different to when because we went not this past time we didn't go because it was January, so we didn't go swimming. But the time before, yes, that pool is like totally different from when we were kids. It's, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They have like a nice pool bar there. It's now. nice, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It is, but it's it kind of is almost looks like it's blocked off in a way from the rest of the resort just because they're trying to keep people who don't belong out. You know what I mean? Hmm. It dep- it's kind of well, dep- it blocked off. You mean like is you talking about the pool bar blocked off or the pool? No, I mean the whole thing looks like it's hidden almost. It's got a lot of shrubbery. It's got a fence. It's got yeah, but I'm I talking mean, about like from if you stay over in the DVC where we did, hell, that's that's the entrance you come in right there. Is right there at the pool bar. It doesn't. It, I liked it better when it looked open. When we we're talking about back in the day, I like the way it used to be. Personally, I, I mean, I, I see what you're saying. You could actually like walk around, look outside your room, and see the pool. You could walk you right up to right the pool, there, but you now you have to yeah. go the, through a gate. But the area itself was more open. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's gated off now. Yeah. Yes. Yes, and there's a lot of shrubbery. You know, we haven't even been over to the other pool yet. I mean, we've been we've stayed over twice, and we haven't even been over to the other one yet. Since they, I guess, the didn't. Pool? Yes. No, we didn't. I told wow. Jen, I said, we'd go over there occasionally. That one's been there a long time. But we stayed at the other one more. Right, yeah, we did, actually. Isn't that funny? Yeah. I mean, shoot, sometimes we had that pool to ourselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but once they actually built the volcano pool, we were adults. Well, yeah. Or well, the volcano, yeah, but they had the, they still had the slide when we were kids. Yeah, it was different. Yeah. <laughs> How many different buildings have we all stayed in at the... Oh, we mostly stayed in the same one. <laughs> well, when we were growing up, yeah. What's the one right there next to the pool, John, that mom always liked to stay at? Well, it's a different name Wahoo. now. Yeah, Oahu. It's not a Wahoo now anymore. It's, now it's Takilau. 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 Yeah, Takilau. Takilau. Pago Pago. Maria. We stayed, in all the, we stayed in all the newer buildings over there. Takilau. Pago Pago. 
I'll say if you want to go back even further, Mama stayed in probably just about all of them. Right. She stayed in quite a, quite a quite quite a good many of them. What's a building that you'd like to stay in that you haven't yet? You know, it seems like every time we go in, if you're looking at the map, yeah. Every time we go in, we stay to the right. <laughs> yeah. Of the great ceremonial so house. Nothing on the left. <laughs> I, it to my memory, I can't remember anything. We stay really far to the left. We haven't. Of that other pool, yeah. I've stayed in Tuvalu that one time, which is the furthest out <laughs> oh, by the by the dock. But the Fiji building looks like a cool building to be. So in. it's right there at the boat ramp. Close. To yeah, the boat it's ramp? it's oh. like facing the Magic Kingdom, like the oh, furthest okay. out. Okay. Yeah. Well, of course, would people say Hawaii? Yes. I mean, would be. I stayed one night in the Hawaii building. Oh, did you? Which the the club level lounge is connected to, which is nice. You know, I don't know why, but I've always kind of liked one of the idea of staying in that short building. It was called, I think it's Nui, Nayu. Mm. Yeah, I know which one you're it's talking like about. It's yeah. like right there. Yeah. It's the, the shortest of the long houses. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but it's so convenient, it seems like, to a lot of stuff. So You know, the yeah. last two times we've went, we've stayed there at DVC, and we've done Morea and Pago Pago back and yeah. forth. Right. You know, we were talking this last time. We want to go one more time and stay on property before Russell turns three. Yeah. So he's free. <laughs> so. Right. Exactly. But we're actually talking about, and like starting now, going ahead and saving up. But I kind of, I've never stayed there and I want to. Yeah. And she wants to. We're talking about going and trying to do the DVC at Grand Floridian. Yeah. I don't know. If, I mean, we want Why to. Not? Why not? Because she's got a couple, of, since we've been doing this, she's got a couple of guys that, you know, we can trust as far as renting points, so. Nice. I think it's worth it. I, I'd like to do it once, you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. Like, it yeah, may it cost a little bit it. more, but I've yeah, never stayed there. Just, I mean, I know you've stayed there, so you stayed there a couple yeah. times, haven't you? Mm-hmm. But not at the not at the DVC building, but yeah, the, yeah. the resort part. But I mean, it's not going to be know. that much different, I don't think. Mm-mm. I, at this point, just don't see myself wanting to, to do it, truthfully. I don't know. It'd have to be a really good deal. That's, that's what I she love likes that. to... I mean... The Monterey Resorts are awesome. She's already... She Actually, when we come back, she contacted the guy, and she asked him, you know, if he had some at Grand Floridian, and he gives yes when, you know, kind of when do you want to do it kind of deal. Mm-hmm. And she was like... And he was like, well, you know, I'm going to stay there or something, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah. you know... It, it, he left it up a you know it's a possibility that I can get you that where you want and the days you want. Oh, nice, yeah. I to- totally you should. So do we're, it, we're gonna kind of shoot for September twenty twenty three, I think, yeah. or maybe September October twenty twenty three to try to do a DVC. Grand and hopefully Floridian the points would be less. Yes, of course. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like the the Polynesian in January was dirt cheap. So, yeah. Yeah, if you were compared to paying cash, most definitely. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, we just didn't have a theme park view, but that's fine. You know, we did that one time, but... Yeah. I think uh, these resorts are the best ones to just hang out at. Grand Floridian, Poly, and Contemporary. You know, I mean, try something new. You know, that'll be the... You know, Emmeline stayed at Contemporary. She stayed at Polynesian. We'll do the whole monorail loop. Contemporary is great, but everything is confined to basically the main building. If you want to just do something, hang out. You know, we Whereas, didn't do DVC at Contemporary. We just did regular. Mm-hmm. So we didn't stay at Bay Lake Tower. But, you know, honestly, I, I, I love that room we had on Contemporary because we had a bay view. Yeah. We could see the fireworks every night. We could watch the water show every night. Yeah. Of course, we paid for it. <laughs> but <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's the last time I stayed. Contemporary was... Yeah. Well, that's one of the best perks about Contemporary is everything is, like, right there. Like, right. you don't have to go yeah. very far. Because <laughs> no. we walked to Magic Kingdom every time we went. We walked. Right, yes. There's something to walk in the grounds, though, and just kind of enjoying. You know, that used to be something we did as kids. Yeah. We'd always do, like, the night before, the night, you know, we'd always do the monorail loop. We'd always yep. ride around. Get, we'd get out and look around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Always did it, yeah. Yeah. So I told yeah, Jenna, I said, I kind of know a little bit around the Grand Floridian. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Not as well as the Polynesian, but... No, yeah, the Grand, we always went to the main building. We never really, like, ventured out beyond that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. 
So we know the main building for sure. Yeah. Yep. Now Coosey's. I've always wanted to eat there. Jay, Jason ate there once, but that's the one out on the boat dock at Grand Floridian. Yeah. Good food there. I know we've done the whole uh, resorts, like, I guess, what was it, favorite resort type thing before or, or something along those lines of the ones as, as of those ones that we've done. Mm-hmm. There's one I want to well, kind of go to is a uh, wilderness lodge. I want to do, I want to eat at Whispering Canyon. Is it Whispering? Isn't that it? It's fun. It, it's fun. It's not uh, what it once was because some people don't have a sense of humor, so they kind of toned it down, but... But I want to go and not tell him on what they do. So like, yeah, that would still be fun. Straw at her. Just, just don't expect it to be as extreme as it once was. Is it kind of like Fifty or the uh, what's the one at uh, Hollywood Studios? Yeah, Fifty's prime time. Uh, I guess. Well, it's they'll done call you a, out if you don't eat your peas. Yeah, it's it's done in a similar spirit. Yeah, I would say. See, that. I told her about that one already, and she's like, "Oh no, I don't want to go there." So mm. I, I kind of want to do that one and not I, tell her. <laughs> I've noticed that the servers there, they kind of, they don't start out doing the full thing unless they know that you want to or you're into it. And then they kind of loosen up a little more yeah. just because some people have taken it as them truly being rude instead of being in the show. That's no. the unfortunate. Yeah, if you show up not knowing. You but know. I mean, if, you know, I guess if you pay attention to the, you know, you would know ahead of time right. what's going on. Right. Like I would. I loved Whispering Canyon back in the day. I don't know. I haven't done. I did a breakfast there recently, and it was. It had a little bit of those elements, not much. The dinner would probably have more of them. I would hope. I don't even know if they do the big thing with the ketchup anymore. It used right. to be a big deal. Oh, I, I did want to tell y'all one thing. Why I got you on. Jenna got up the other night. She couldn't sleep, and she got on the app, and they had another glitch. Oh. She's got like three or four. Chef Mickey's for us. Really? That she was able to book. Yeah. Hmm. She was able to book. She's like, which time do you want? So oh. I was able to book like four. <laughs> Weird. Because we want, because that's one of the things I wanted to do, uh, since yeah. they're the character thing, I wanted for to us. get one for, right, for us. Yeah. And they'll actually come to you. And I was like, and we couldn't find any. Because you know mm-hmm. they're going to be booked since they started doing the. So. Right. She got up the other morning. She was like, <laughs> I found like four of them. <laughs> I was like, Okay, yeah. so which which day do you want? I booked them all. I feel like they add more as it gets closer, just to. She said she like, got up. I asked her about what time it was. She said it was like one forty-five. So I thought that was kind yeah. of odd. So Maybe after know. midnight they start adding. More I will hands. say this: I have heard some stories about various things after midnight. We'll yeah. put it that way. Disney after dark. Well, I guess, but. <laughs> Go ahead. Supposedly they refresh or reset like their resort reservations at that time as well i've always heard that mm. i don't know how true that is like if you're having trouble finding a place yeah. that after that's probably a good time to look well she was looking for topolinos but of course that didn't i don't know but she was able to book four chef mickey's so i have not really seen that show up because i had this trip booked so far in advance i actually did look on the day that i was able to and I did manage to secure a Topolinos for dinner. So I do have that as well. So we could, we talked a little bit about the poly, but I feel like there's more to uh, to be said. Oh, yeah. there's way more. Way more. Yeah. So everyone, if you in, enjoyed that especially, uh, go and uh, let us know on avenues such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That is all at TWTM Podcast. We have a Spreadshirt store in which you can buy exclusive TWTM merchandise. That is shop.spreadshirt.com slash TWTM podcast. We also have a YouTube channel. And where else can they find us, Adam? Our website, travelingwiththemouse.com. You can email us podcast at travelingwiththemouse.com. And you can email our travel agent. Once again, her email is jilldilbeck at gmail.com. And she can hook you up. All right, so for Adam, James, I am John. This has been Traveling with a Mouse, and we hope you will join us on our next trip. Which should be in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Lots of travel coming up.